All right, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my hotel room, which is really freaking awesome. This is actually my first time staying in a ryokan or a traditional Japanese style hotel, but I'm so impressed with it. So when you walk in the door, there's a little cupboard here and inside you'll find a yukata that you can wear when you go down to the bath area and there's a little overcoat if you're cold tie for your yukata and there's a little fridge down here filled with beer and cocktails that you can drink over on this side we have the washroom It's just so pretty. I've never stayed in a hotel that's so nice like this. Love it. And here's the sink area. Oh, and this is what the yukata looks like when you put it on with the overcoat. It's really comfy. So there's a hair dryer. I was kind of worried if it would have the hair dryer or not because it's a traditional hotel, but they do. There's a hair dryer and soap and a toothbrush. Um, those are my makeup, I brought those. It didn't come with face wash or anything. So if you're planning to stay in Ondiokon, maybe make sure you bring face wash and stuff. Um, a little bag to bring down with you when you go to the bath to put your wet towels in. And when you go into the room, there's a really pretty tatami room here. I love these doors. I want a house like this. It looks so nice. Isn't that pretty? And on the table here, I honestly have no idea what this is, but I'm assuming it's some kind of sweets to eat with your tea because inside here there's a green tea set. This is too cool. This is a canister of green tea. Uh, a little teapot to make it in, and a cup. This, I have no idea what this is. Somebody tell me what this is, please. <laughs> and a little pot with pre-boiled water in it. There's a TV, um, what do we, okay, and this was super cool. Check out this swing chair, like, how cool is that? I was not expecting that to be here. Really neat. And it's nighttime right now, it's almost midnight, so I can't show you guys the view, but if you can hear the sound of the water, we're right on the river. So there's a really gorgeous view of a river here. I think you can kind of see it flowing there a little bit. Really nice view. And then the best part is the bedroom. These are the comfiest beds I've ever slept in in my life. I took a nap when I first arrived here and it's just super comfy. It's a like foam mattress and then they've got another foamy thing on top and then this really soft comforter. I just like how it's so low to the ground and I really liked this. I don't know. I thought this was a nice touch. There's like a step up to the bedroom. So you're like a little bit up off the floor. I would love to have an apartment like this. I just think it's so cool. I got two beds all to myself and yeah, there's a little shelf here and that's about it. I freaking love this place and there's no shower in the room because there's an onsen downstairs which I will be showing you next. I found a massage chair downstairs so I'm just using it right now. It's super high tech. There's so many different settings. This is probably the best massage chair I've tried yet. And there's like a leg part that massages your legs. It even massages your head, like the back of your head really awesome. If you saw the video on my main channel then you know what these are. Apparently this area is also famous for kappa, which is interesting. Ah, uh, it's so cold. Ah, uh, so nice. 
there's a little shower area. So before you enter the bath, you take a shower here. And then there's a little private bath. You don't have to share it with anyone. And you can see the river out the window there. It's pretty dark now, so you can't really see it, but that would be nice in the daytime. Oh my God, it's so cold in here. I want to get in. Kochiwananda. Kochiwa. Tansa in the hole. Apparently this bath has carbonated water in it, warm carbonated water. So I'm gonna have to try that later. That one's just a regular one, then. I wonder how hot it is. Oh, it's a nice temperature. It's like lukewarm. So not good. <laughs> oh, this one looks hotter. Oh, it's about the same. So these baths here are the public baths. So it's like a group, a group bath. So there's the ladies and then the men's over here. But that private one looks a lot nicer to me. So I'm gonna go in that one. I've got a little bit of time before dinner. We're going to be having dinner at 7, so I think I'll go in the onsen for a bit now. I think my favorite part about this private bath is that the temperature of the water wasn't super hot. I've been in a couple onsens before where it was so hot that I had to get out in like two minutes, but I feel like this was just the perfect temperature and it was really nice. After my bath, I went upstairs for dinner, which was really delicious. It was a really interesting combination of different dishes, quite a great selection, and they all used vegetables and plants from around the area where the onsen was, so I thought that was really neat. I really recommend this place if you're looking for a place to stay in Fukushima, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!